Hello, you beautiful people. Wow, it's been a while since I've kind of sat down and done this. I, I, I'm kind of looking forward to this. Now, obviously, this is just a q and I kind of want to do more videos where I sit down and talk about things. So, if you have any ideas of stuff you'd like me to do, definitely like leave it in the comments, because I'd, I'd really love to hear anything you want to see, anything you think that would be good to have advice on, if you want. I mean, I've got ideas for videos, but I want to know what you want to see and if there's anything I can do to help. Short answer, I basically want to hear what you what you think, what you want to see. So let's kick this Q&A off by the first question. The best, the, what's the best thing and worst thing of Derby so far? Of roller, da roller Derby so far. Oh, that's... Since I'm answering this question right now, obviously, the worst thing is, is power stops because I cannot get them even though I'm trying it's, I know I will get them but right now right now it's really annoying and yeah that's the worst thing so far once I've got past them I'll be fine and I won't care about it anymore but right now they're a, they're a piss take and the best thing I suppose it, 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 it's derby related so leads because I've never really done anything like that before or at least not since I was old enough to drink and go out and stuff so that's probably one of the most enjoyable things I've done with the exception of like night clubbing because I don't do clubbing I prefer like sitting around a pub having a few drinks or sitting around a house and having a few drinks but no it was really good that's the best thing of Derby so far. Next question: How do I look at Derby from when uh, now, from when I first started? From when I first started, I had I didn't know what it was, and I looked at it kind of like I, I just wanted to learn to skate. Didn't really care about Derby. Now I'm not. Oh, I didn't used to be passionate about any kind of sport. I found it all really boring. But now I understand. How the game works and I don't understand all the penalties and stuff quite yet but I'm learning and so the fact that I can get into the game and get enthusiastic about a team get behind a team and really enjoy a game that's the biggest difference I think what does a duck fart sound like underwater favorite chimichanga filling uh, I know Chimichanga is a restaurant, this sounds really bad already, but I've never been, so favourite Chimichanga fi filling, uh, chicken, I, I don't know, that sounds like an answer, chicken with beef and potatoes. Who would you rather have as one night stand, Hillary Clinton or Angela Merkel? I'd have to say Hillary Clinton. Because that way, I could say, I've climbed a really big Hillary. When you were growing up, was there anyone that was an inspiration to you? Not really. Favourite games? Those. Uh, just for reference, Libertalia, Tales of Arabian Nights, Tickets a Ride, Settlers of Catan. I could go on. What do you value most in your friends? Loyalty? And I suppose a, a, a decent level of respect, but I suppose that comes that that comes with loyalty, really, doesn't it? Is there anything you'd change about yourself? Yes, and I, I get how pretentious this is. And the only reason I, I do this is because I, I think I'm quite happy with myself as I am. But this is one thing; it's more of a curiosity thing more than anything. I change my stomach give myself a six pack only because I've never had one and 
Uh, it is. It would be interesting. And now is the big question. Do you have a zombie apocalypse plan? Yes. You grab a pool cue, you put on some queen, and start hitting them zombies. Who is better, Liam Needsom or Bankai? Oh, that's a difficult question. Bankai was put, uh, pulling off some sick moves on the dance floor in that club. But, you know what? Because... Okay, here's my argument for both. Bankai, although very new to the team, is very quick and very awesome. <laughs> and then Liam is can take a hit, apparently. Can take a very big hit. So I'm, I'm just gonna say equal, both, both brilliant. Who inspired you to start making videos and would you like to meet them do a crossover episode? Yes. Well, the person who inspired me, there's a couple of people that inspired me. Emma Blackery, who inspired me to kind of to start and has inspired me to carry on. And Matthew Santoro, who inspired me to start and has also kept me going along. I would like to meet Matt, definitely and Emma Blackery, but I don't know what we could do as a uh, collab. Also, one more person who didn't inspire me to start, but has inspired me since I've started, and that's Carrie Hope Fletcher. And I'd love to do a crossover with her, a collaboration on musicals, because I love musicals, and she loves musicals, so I think that would go really well. What would happen if today was the most amazing day ever? A lot of people say, money can't make you happy. Now, maybe a long time ago, this would have been true, but I, 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 get, I, I kind of get the sentiment behind it, that without money, you don't need money to be happy, which is a better quote, I think. But honestly, winning the lottery, because I know like, that sounds quite, materialistic but as someone who who's pre pretty much every single problem in my, in my life would be cured by money and I know people might say well not every problem no literally every problem I have would be cured by money so yeah winning the lottery would be the best day ever for me finally last question which son is my inspiration ah <sighs> I think the only answer I can possibly give for this is that each and every son is an inspiration in their own way. No, no person on the Sons of Icarus are identical and that creates a kind of canvas of advice and understanding in which I take my learned knowledge from. So everyone on Sons is kind of an equal inspiration to me. And that's it for the questions guys. Thank you very much for giving your questions. If you have any that weren't in the video, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Also leave any ideas you have that you'd like me to do, any videos that you'd like to see, I'd love to hear your ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, guys. You are awesome.